All right, baby. Flash, Ghost, Fiddle, Mid, Run Back. We go in Conquer, Prince of Mind, Tenacity, Coup, Nimbus Cloak, Transcendence, AP, AP, and MR. Gonna probably try to cap up my CDR fast. Maybe get a, you know, a Rylize in the mix. Maybe get some tanky items. I want to see how the drain feels if I don't fall behind. And I actually, um, I actually managed to get a little bit of uh, attraction going. This is the first game. This is the real first game of the Fiddle 6 rework. Let's see how it feels, baby. Going, going Fiddle mid one more time. Let's run it back. If you're gonna run W Max, rush Spear Visage maybe. If I'm against a heavy AP team, then Visage is good. This team actually has pretty heavy magic damage. Looks like maybe Karma mid or or maybe Set mid. One of the two. Ezra Morgana bot. Okay. Yeah, this could be a good like drain tank tank build oh i should test out all his like little animations let's see what his uh let's see what his dance is oh my god he's actually terrifying get it terrifying but um shh. dude i made that joke on the league instagram and people were so mad at me they were like boo we hate you take your jokes out of here Go, go build mallet. All right, let's see how I do if I just run up to Karma and W. See, that's a little bit better, man. That's not bad. Fiddle mid off to a great start. It doesn't cost too much mana and it's pretty spammable. It's not the worst. Got the silence, got the drain. Ooh, dodge the Q. Oh, I got fear for the gank. Let's go! No, Warwick, you have to fall. You have to hold your Q, buddy. Oh, I got hived, we had her. It's all good, man. Let's go with Dark Seal, going big. So people were saying, uh, boy, you should max E first. So let's look at it. So w, the E gets 30% in 30, 30 extra base damage and the slow goes up by five and the empower goes up by five and one second off the cooldown. Okay. And the W gets damage per second up from 50 to 80 and the percent vamp goes from 30 to 35. Honestly, my first impression for mid lane is I'm going to max, I'm going to keep trying out W max because I think the extra vamp and the extra damage per second is actually pretty nice, especially if I'm like trying to get uh, shove on mid or pry or whatever. I, d I just don't think that 30 damage. I just don't think that 30 damage on my E is gonna really change too much. Whereas these fights with W don't feel all that bad. Come here. Da da, da da, da da. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I better be able to kill her. Otherwise, this champ sucks. That's it, baby. The Fiddle Mid Prodigy. I told you guys this was gonna work out. He has a lot of utility on his spells, so I'm actually gonna try to prioritize CDR boots and getting early CDR finish, like I said before. I'll go CDR boots, Fiendish Codex. Oh my God, Phil literally, he keeps whining with the raspy voice. He's scaring me a little bit too while playing him. I'm not gonna lie. Not, it's not just scaring the enemy. Oh, Karma also got MR here. Look at the power of the drain, man. I win these. No, 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 no. I'm popping off, baby. Woo! That's the fiddle prodigy, the fiddle mid tech. Like I said, guys, just let me do my thing. The, the boy always figures out new champions. 
Hey friends, I hope you enjoy this first look at the Fiddlesticks rework. He's definitely super terrifying in more ways than one. Get it? Because his Q is called Terrify. Hey, go boy. Go boy. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy this mid Phil 6 gameplay. We popping off. Hopefully, he will be playable when he comes out on live in solo queue because I actually had a lot of fun this game. Anyway, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more of the juiciest content out there. And drop your genius gang in the comments for your daily 10 IQ points. Guys, stay safe. Wash your hands. Take care of yourself and your families. Take care, guys. See you. I think I should push mid and roam bot here. It's probably the move. Surprise! Rampage. Woo! And we dropped the effigy for vision. Let's go. I'm not gonna die this wave watch. Okay, that was kind of close. Oh my god, monkey ass. All right, so this game I am against pretty heavy AP, so I'm gonna focus on maximizing what I've been talking about all game, which is the power of my drain build. I'm probably gonna go uh, the CDR boots into Fiendish, Candle Gem into Visage, and then I'm about to level 10, so I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna have 40% uh, CDR. I'll have. I have Conquer, so when I get that ramped up, I get extra AP, and I heal for 50% of the damage I deal to champions, which, by the way, will be like not. It doesn't get reduced by my. Um, my W because it's AOE. So if I'm in the middle of a team fight, I'm draining five people. I'll heal for all that damage, which is pretty dope. Oh shoot! I'm baiting. Okay. Okay, Warwick. Hmm. Oh, the new Kong. Oh my god, that did not that did not look balanced. I'm going back in, motherfucker! Woo! Holy shit, I lived. Let's go, baby. All right, so I have my 40% CR spike. I'm level 10. I have Visage done too, so now I get increased all healing received by 30%. So all the healing for my W and anything extra I get from Conquer hasn't been ju too juicy for me so far, but I think it'll pay off. Wait, what if I what if I dive? What if I dive? Let's try this. Let's see. No way. Help! Oh my god. My whole team was dead. I dove, tanked turret, got a triple kill, and almost was able to tank out set uh, until Phil came. That was kind of lit, not gonna lie. Get him! No, 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 no. I'm tanking, baby. I'm tanking for you guys. Oh, shoot. I'm tanking too much. Oh, my God. I actually lived. That was a close one. Let me yoink this for Mukong real quick. Oh, My E only does... Dude, this ability only does 160 damage at rank 4 base. How are you guys actually spamming me to max E first in lane? All right, I think um, getting Rylai's actually sounds pretty good, especially because I'm already like going for a pretty tanky build. It's it gives me more health to stay to stay alive with, and then if I get a little bit of armor with this build too, I already have a bunch of MR. I can perma slow. I deal pretty good base damage. I have insane CC, and I can drain a ton uh, off my W in, in the middle of the mix. Honestly, I want to see what I'm capable of. I'm just going to go into these guys like 1v4 and see if I can kill them all. I think it's worth a shot. 
Oh, I, I disabled the ward. I'm gonna want me for this, baby. Narrator, he did not want before this. Wait, Wukong's gonna want before it. Wait, I set him up. It was a setup. Oh, never mind. He died too. Okay, I guess even 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 the Wukong we were can't handle that. I died for the cause. We killed the whole squad. That might be game. I need to run the numbers. I need to pull out the spreadsheets for the runes and stuff, but I think it's a, this is a good starting point to, to build off from. The Conqueror is pretty meh. I will say that, but I think the presence of mind is really good, so I don't have to worry about mana ever. I can just spam anything I want willy-nilly. To be fair, his mana costs are pretty low. Like I feel like Riot was pretty generous with this, but obviously the fact that I Prince of Mine helps a lot. Tenacity's really good, Ku's good. I like Nimbus Cloak and I like uh I like Transcendence a lot too. But I would think that Ravenous Hunter would be pretty sick as well. I'm coming. I'm going ghost! I'm helping! Can't kill me, I'm immortal. Let's go. Oh, the double fear. An enemy has been slain. Fight, fight, fight. Fight, 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 fight. Oh, the Zanya's prodigy. Damn, the silence, the silence ruined my ulti back over the wall. That would've been sick. Wait, he got two mallets? This guy's, he surpassed even myself. Dude, fuck me. This guy should be the professor. Dank PVE, yo. Do you just, does this guy, you want, you want to take over my stream, bro? I'll get, dude, honestly, take it. It's yours, it's yours now. All right, so I I think I got overshadowed a little bit by the Wukong uh, rework on PVE there, but that actually didn't feel bad. That one play mid where I flanked them, I ulted the wall, got a three-man fear into silence, into like drain, got a triple kill and like almost killed set afterward actually felt insane i'm not saying that like fiddle six minutes is the future or that like this build in particular is like the way to go but i would love i would love it if i would love it if he was like viable to be played solo lane i'm worried that in high elo it's gonna be too punishable but i i think if you're not in a terrible matchup and you play him like a macro champion like just shove mid with w max and like roam and like make plays with the ulti it, it could honestly work what he lacks right what he lacked before was wave clear right they removed his e perma bouncing and insta clearing the wave so he had no more good wave clear but i think with the w if you if the enemy laner can't easily cancel it and just like ruin your your push and your healing and stuff i think it could actually work as like a counter pick or something like that i definitely gotta test him more but that was pretty fun um of course he's gonna be really good in the jungle too but you know, I'm more interested in, in his soul and capabilities. Yes.